Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanna to show you a short and sweet one. I'm gonna be showing you how to make cheesy pumpkin pasta, which is going to be fat free um, and hopefully absolutely delicious. So I need to make a quick and simple dinner for tonight because my kids are absolutely knackered. I am knackered and I don't have a lot of energy and I thought this would be a really good one to throw together. This should take about less than 10 minutes to put together completely. So I'm gonna do it with you. And uh, yeah, hopefully if you are in a pinch one night, you can also have a lovely creamy mac and cheese kind of stuff. I'm doing mama spaghetti, ready to go in like 10, 15 minutes. So if you want a fast meal, let's do it together. So I'm gonna start by boiling some water and putting my pasta on first and foremost. Meanwhile, Romy is making a piece of art <laughs> with our pumpkin puree. It <laughs> was so funny. If she can um, destroy something utterly and completely, she will find a way. Okay, whilst we're waiting for our pasta to boil, we are going to be using <laughs> a tin of pumpkin puree. <laughs> I don't know why I find it so funny. I think I'm tired. Anyway, this is gonna be a put everything in the blender and turn it on kind of situation. First, we actually need a clean blender, so give me a second. Okay, now that you have a clean blender, we're basically going to dump this entire, you have that, my gorgeous. We're gonna dump this entire tin of unidentified things into the blender. You're gonna, you're gonna help mommy with loads of stuff. Do you want to do the lemon juice from me? Yeah. I thought so. Okay, we're just gonna whack the entire tin of pumpkin puree into the blender. Um, you could roast your own pumpkins if you fancy doing so, but because I am wanting something very quick and simple tonight, we are going with a good old tin of pumpkin puree. Once we've got this in here, we want some flavor. So I've got a ton of stuff with me. Obviously, I'm going in with some garlic salt. I will be leaving all the measurements for everything down below. Okay, so I've also got some onion granules, very old and crusty, but they still will taste oniony, so I'm gonna put like a good tablespoon in there. That's right. Of course, we want nutritional yeast and a ton of it. This is obviously gonna give us our lovely cheesy flavor. Um, so I'm gonna probably do like a quarter cup. I love niche with a passion. And then we want something nice and acidic for that lovely cheesy kind of tang. So I've got lemon juice here but you could kind of go apple cider vinegar if you fancy, or if you had some, you could also go lactic acid. So then my ideal ingredient would be some tapioca starch because that makes it super thick and stretchy. However, I've just hunted my entire house and I realized I do not have any tapioca starch. However, we are going to compromise with something else. I'm gonna do a combination of corn flour, which is gonna make it nice and thick. So I'm gonna do like a couple of, you wanna help mommy? Come here, I hope. Woo! You want some on your hand? Oh, it's like snow, look at that. Now do not eat that, it will not taste good. So sprinkle it in. So I'm doing a combination of cornstarch and then also, I just said don't eat it, oh goodness. And then also I want that sticky stretchiness, but I uh, don't have any tapioca starch. So I had the genius idea to use some sushi rice. So let me just grab some sushi rice. You are covered in sludge, oh, and bogey. So I'm gonna add in about half a cup of soy milk. There we go. I say half a cup, I think I am measuring it correctly, but um, I kind of do it all by eye. Got a freshly brewed batch of sushi rice, which I thought I would use for tomorrow um, anyway, and do a ton of fun different sushi recipes. Uh, let me know if you guys are up for that. But um, yeah, so sushi rice I used to make mozzarella like months and months ago and it came out brilliantly. So I thought I would do the same again. It's whole foodsy and I usually have rice um, left over in my fridge anyway. Um, I'm assuming most of you guys do as well. So it's a, it's a great one to have on hand if you're wanting to throw something quick and simple together. So I'm going in with about a third of a cup of cooked sushi rice. I may add more, I'm not quite sure. And then that's basically it. So let's just blend this bad boy up, shall we? So, so simple, all in one blender. You cannot get better than that. I have realized we need some more. Oh 
god, oh god, I've just covered myself in a pumpkin. Oh no! It's a good thing I'm uh, washing my hair tonight, eh? Oh no, Romy, I've got pumpkin everywhere. So we're going to go in with another half a cup because this is some Wee! thick stuff. Would you help, Mommy? No, you can't put soy milk on your hands, you little muffin. Yeah. Absolutely not, darling. Okay, and we're going to reblend. Wow. Okie dokie, guys, there we go. Look at that cheesiness. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that's yum. Can you have a little taste? What do you think? No? It's got that raw um, corn flour flavor, which we need to cook off, so. <laughs> You're so funny, Roms. Okay, anyway, we're gonna whack this in a pan and heat it up. Okay, so we'll just transfer this thick, gooey, cheesy mess. Get your special helper to give it a magic mix. Is that your magic mix? Yay, Rami. Oh, wow, fantastic. Look at that, yeah. Right, now let's heat this up until it goes nice and thick and bubbly. Okay, so excuse my mess everywhere. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not great at uh, staying on top of my uh, oven. However, look at this delicious cheesy sauce. It's really starting to thicken up now and you want to stir it constantly. Oh my gosh, don't let your pasta overboil. Right, yes, you want to stir this constantly because we do not want it getting burnt at the bottom. Um, and then in a few minutes, this should be absolutely delicious. Okay, so this is what we're going for. This is like the final product. See how it's super sticky and stretchy and bubbly. Oh my gosh, sorry, you are steaming up. But yes, look at that. Oh my gosh. Totally fat free, guys. Totally fat free. Romy and I are just preloading with a ton of grapes. <laughs> Whilst I'm cooking, I always love to nibble on stuff. So I make sure it's either fruits or veggies. Fantastic low calorie density. Things to get in before you move on to your main meal. Okay, this is our thick and cheesy sauce. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm so excited to dive into this. Obviously, the majority of recipes use cashews, which we have not done today. This is totally fat-free sauce. And it's gonna be absolutely delicious. As an alternative, if you didn't wanna use rice and you wanted to also make it fat-free, you could also go in with a, a packet of silken tofu, which would nicely cream up. However, I do not have any. Um, and or the tapioca starch is a great combination. But if you don't mind getting a few healthy fats in there, then feel free to use like a quarter or half a cup of cashews. Um, in addition or instead of the rice. You'd like three small grapes. <laughs> She's getting so chatty. Small ones. Here. Big boy. Your big boy grapes. Yeah. She keeps on referring to herself as a big boy because Abe is a big boy. <laughs> it was really hard to explain that she's not a boy. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Oh, yes. Let's have a little taste test. Mm. Oh my God, yes. That is so cheesy, it's so thick. Mm. You can of course thin it out if you want to by adding some more plant milk or some water or something, but I wanted mine nice and thick tonight. Gotta to check that pasta. Mm. Oh, it is a bit hot. Okay, a couple more minutes, but let's get. I'll also show you how I plate this up, low calorie density style, 50 50 plate. So I'm going to get started with my prep. So I'm going in with a ton of non starchy veggies. So, as I told you, I'm feeling super lazy, and when I'm feeling lazy and I can't be bothered to cook veggies, a salad is perfect. Oh, God. So, I've got some mixed leaf salad here. Would you like some? Here you go, my love. Okay, so I'm going to stuff my plate with this salady goodness, and I'm gonna mix it in with my uh, cheesy sauce eventually, so it's gonna have loads of good stuff going in there. Okay, then some cucumber and tomato. Yes. Yeah, sliced tomato. Yes, you can have some more. Okay, pasta is ready. Baby. That's right. Pasta, baby. 
pasta's ready. Don't touch it, it's really hot, babe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep some of the starchy pasta water in there, probably like half a cup to a cup. Yay! Just to thin out this sauce a little bit. Okay, so the cheesy sauce, we're just gonna whack that in with the spaghetti. Feel free to use actual macaroni if you fancy it. Okay, then we're just gonna give this a nice mix in. Just look at that. Oh, baby, it's so hot. Okay, so there we go. Super quick and easy, fat-free, cheesy pasta. And I'm just going to plate up some for Romy because she is starving. Oh. There we go. I'm just going to let this cool down, Rom Rom. It's a hot, hot, hotty, hotty, hotty. Okay, and before we give it to the kids, we need to have our own little taste test, I think, just to make sure we've done a good job. Mm. Yes! Oh my god. That is good, guys. That is so good. That is an absolute, absolute winner. Oh my god, I'm so excited to dig in. Okay, so on top of my salad, I'm going to put my tomato and cucumber. And then I'm just going to load up on some cheesy pasta here. Oh. There we go. Keeping it super simple with the salad and just going in with some nice balsamic vinegar. There you go, quick and easy weeknight dinner that you can throw together in about 15, 20 minutes. And um, it's absolutely delicious and my kids are loving it, which is always a success. I'll show you. Nice babies. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you try this recipe out and I'll see you next time. I just, I just had to show you that Abe loved it so much. Not only has he had three portions, but he's literally trying to lick the plate clean. <laughs> totally filthy, but as long as he's had a good time and he's enjoyed his meal, that is all that matters. Yeah, definitely a kid-friendly one too. What are you going to do with that? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. <laughs> you messy muffin. <laughs>